So I have been owned the Interceptor 650, which I would proudly like to call it happy. I have faced some issues as an owner for around 10 to 11 months of its ownership. It's actually been almost a year since I bought him and this is my 10 months ownership experience about this particular motorcycle. There are certain things which happened to my motorcycle in midway and those were the things I absolutely hated about this motorcycle. I don't know whether other owners of the same machine have experienced this or not but this is my own personal experience. So starting with point number one. The thing which I absolutely hate about this motorcycle is the quality of the chain. Give me the camera. Can you see? The chain is all rusted out here. The formation of rust. By looking at how dirty my motorcycle is, you might just tell me that, that I haven't been taking care of my motorcycle properly. But let me tell you folks one thing. It's proper monsoon right now and because of that, it rains a lot. And when I have to take my happy out for a spin, not for a ride, I need to do some household works as well, right? That time what happens is when I take him for a ride, what happens is, do you see the potholes? These are the kind of roads that I have to deal with and because of that my motorcycle gets really dirty. And what I plan to do is, this Saturday I'm taking him to Siliguri for his second service. So might as well, I just thought after coming back from Siliguri because the national highway that connects Kalimpong to Siliguri is pathetic. If you folks have travelled in that part of India then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That national highway is pathetic and as monsoons are here, it's gonna be dirtier than this. Mark my words, it's gonna be way And regarding the maintenance of my chain, what I like to do is I clean his chain regularly and every once in 500 kilometers, I lube his chain with Motul C2, that is the chain lube I use for my happy. After doing so much, after caring so much for his chain, yet the chain decided to gather some rust. Now coming to the second part of the motorcycle which I absolutely hate is this. No, I don't mean the design. No. <laughs> design is not the thing which bothers me. The thing is, this stopped working after 3 or 4 months of purchase in December when I was coming from a, when I went for a road trip to Nogdada, Kalimpong and while I was returning back my dear best friend Prayash Mani Shilali noticed that my tail lamp is not working Let me give you folks a demonstration of that Right now the engine is on my motorcycle has already started and I'm pulling the brake. See, it's all working. This is the second thing which I absolutely hate about my happy. I'm coming to the third part of the motorcycle which I hate is the speedometer out here. Do you notice there are some water droplets inside? Probably my camera won't be able to take it because I'm just using a small action camera, a very beauty one. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yes, this speedometer, it stopped working back in December itself. And not to forget about the fuel gauge. Just like any other Royal Enfield motorcycle, it's never accurate. When I initially switch on my motorcycle, switch the key on, that time it works perfectly. Okay, but while I'm riding the motorcycle, it just never works. Sometimes it does deflect but you know it doesn't show the exact speed which I'm riding at. Now coming to the fourth point which I absolutely hate about my motorcycle is the position of the foot pegs. My foot is so close to the engine that when the engine heats up pretty bad during the traffic, it just I just have a sense of burn on my feet. And yes, this happens in traffic as well. When I'm on traffic, just look at my, just look at the position of my feet. Because of this, I either have to take my feet here or I have to take my feet here. This is placed in a very awkward position. Now coming to the fifth and the last part which I absolutely hate about my motorcycle is the leg room for the pillion rider. The foot pegs here are placed in such an awkward position that very little leg room is here. Right now I am the only person sitting but when I have a rider along with me that time my leg gets crampled up really bad. Just check, they are like so high and as the motorcycle has a good amount of torque, the pillion 
tries to fly away when I just get the throttle open. So yeah, that's about it. About the five points which I absolutely hate about my Interceptor 650. I'm pretty sure other owners of Interceptor 650 have faced some problems, if not all, about this particular motorcycle which I am talking about right now. And if you have faced a similar problem, just comment down below and let me know, okay? Let me know that I am not alone in this thing. So we are finally done with all the 5 points which I absolutely hate about my motorcycle. But before ending this video, I want to thank the sponsors of this video who are Grandma's Bag. Grandma's Bag is basically an online delivering service that delivers fresh and organic farm products in and around Kalimpong town. So I have left the link of their Facebook as well as their Instagram account on my description box. Go and check it. You can either go on their Facebook page or the Instagram page and check what all products they deliver. And according to your need, you can place an order via a phone call or a text message on WhatsApp. So thank you so much for making me a part of video. Until next time, this is Priyam Gurung and I will see you very very soon. Till then, take care, bye-bye and cheers to life. Thank you so much. And do comment down below if you want me to make a separate video where I'll be explaining what I love about my mo motorcycle, my happy. I'll be waiting for your feedback. Bye-bye. Good night.